Hello, Hello guys. guys and welcome back to our channel. Ooh. Hello there. It's a hot and sweaty morning. James has been busy as a bee, honestly, I guys. Have. Have a stop. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank um, you. We, we've been packing up the villa. We're leaving today, guys. We're taking a bit of like an extended route back, which would be nice, but we are officially leaving. Are you okay? Yeah, we're officially leaving. The villa that we've been staying in for a month in France. I can't believe we're not gonna be waking up to this view anymore, guys. We've absolutely made ourselves at home here. Who's gonna be the most gutted of all? You, Mio. <laughs> she loves, all she wants to do, guys, is walk up the stairs. You love it, you love climbing the stairs, don't you? You're gonna say bye-bye? Oh, Daddy's doing the shutters. I was gonna give it one last shot. I know. There we go. I'm oh, sorry. Gone. The shutters are going. Bye bye. I'm gonna go and lock up all the other shutters, which are manual shutters. Bye bye. Oh, Honestly, guys, we've really made ourselves at home here the past month. I actually can't believe that we're leaving. It just feels so strange and crazy. And it's been like the quickest month ever. Like in our whole lives, this has been the quickest. Yeah, it has. What do you want more of? You doing more? What do you want more of? She does more for like anything now, like if she wants to play, play more or like, so now when she does more, you want to go outside more. <laughs> it's so cute. But we're always trying to figure out what she wants more of. You want to go outside with Mila? Whoa, hi Mila, hi Mila. We do our gentle touches. They're so nice. They're so nice. <laughs> she hasn't quite learned the stroking motion yet. It just sort of turns to a little, she has a, she has a pat. <laughs> a little. Um, Amber, Mila is not a piano. <laughs> She's not your drum kit either. Mila seems to quite like it though. It's like She's a little massage. She's, <laughs> She's like, yeah, carry on. She can get up and go whenever she... Yeah, she she d d She's like, all right, enough massage now, hun. See ya. I can't believe it, guys. I know I'm going to keep saying it because this has literally been our home for the past month. I'm going to drip over you. In. Do you know that we're going home, but we're going to see our house. We were watching, um, I, I don't think that she knew, but we were like looking at pictures of our garden on our phone because we we're really excited to go back and see the, where you off? See uh, the garden transformation because our family friend's been staying there and doing like uh, the landscaping and like the shed's been put up and everything, guys. We're so excited to see it. And we were looking at pictures of the garden. Are you touching the plants? <laughs> and, um, she was looking at the pictures and we were showing them to her and she was going oh, and like getting really excited and I didn't know whether it was just because we were excited looking at them and then she felt like, are you saying something? Yeah, she was so excited uh, to be looking at the photos but I didn't know if it was just because she was like excited to be involved with us, if you get me, like she was just kind of imitating what we were doing but I felt like she could see that and she like recognised the house and the garden and she was like, oh, do you miss the house? Amber, have you had a good time here? No. Do you want to go home? Yeah. No. Yeah. Do you... Did you have a good time? Did you love it? No, no, no. No, 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 guys. No, no, no. No everything. No. Oh, gosh. Oh, <laughs> that's a new very thing. Oh, gosh. It's oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, bye then. See ya. Yeah, oh, you say night night. It is your nap time. Night night. Night night then. See ya. Off for nap time. <laughs> so yeah, we've timed it so that we're just packing up and leaving now, ready for her first nap. Um, and yeah, we're traveling to Avignon. Um, we're gonna do a bit more exploring like on the way back. So we've made like a bit of an extended trip of it, but it's still only gonna be a few days. And I think, what, a 16 hour drive, 70? I don't know, I haven't tallied it up, but it was 16 on the way here. Yeah, it was about 16 on the way here. It's probably it? gonna be even longer on the way back. Slightly longer, but Avignon is on the way, so it's not too bad. Exciting. James is just busying. I'm not gonna, you know, try and get him involved too much because he's being a busy bee. I'm so sweaty, I've been... just showered and I'm like, I think I need to have another shower. <laughs> I know, literally, it's boiling. <laughs> and we're busy, James is busy. We're driving away from the villa. <laughs> bye bye. I'm emotional. <laughs> I'm emotional for both. Like I'm an emotional, I'm an emotional. <laughs> I'm emotional because I feel like we've had just the most incredible month there. And like, yeah. it feels like literally yesterday, like we were saying last night, it feels like yesterday, the night that we arrived, 
and we were like so excited yeah we arrived late and it was late last night that we were thinking about the feeling of being there knowing that we were going to be there for a month and we like felt a little bit homesick and we were a bit like you know when you're like trying to convince yourself that you're like you've made the right decision and we were but at the same time we could tell we were both like okay cool we can get, um, we can get an early early travel back if we need to <laughs> we've never done anything like this so this is super exciting for us we some of you guys will be like travel pros yeah. and just be like what a month somewhere oh, these cars they're so cool there's just so much cool stuff here guys we're gonna miss um uh yeah go it has on. been amazing but yeah, yeah from being a little bit homesick in those first few days and I was like not wanting to leave. Yeah, we just don't want to leave now. Beautiful. But then also, I feel emotional because I'm so excited to see our oh, house. Yeah. Like we, I was saying earlier that we were looking at pictures of like the garden and stuff yesterday, and we felt like Amber was excited, yeah. but we didn't like, know. Where's the garden? <laughs> um, and we're so excited as well to be back in our home, to like just be back in that space. I like feel like I can't even envision what it looks like, but that's just been. This is the longest since we moved in, obviously. Like, yeah, yeah. The house. This is the longest ever that we've been away from Cardiff. I swear. Like, even when we were at uni, I keep saying it, but I swear yeah. we didn't do it even a when month. We went to Bali, I think it was only like a few weeks. Oh, yeah, we went to Bali. That, that probably was, our was big the traveling adventure. Yeah, that was us going traveling. That was our yeah. gap year, yeah, three that weeks. Was this year. Mm, okay, so we this was adventurous. <laughs> yeah, we've driven this view every day. I don't know how well you can see it on the camera, but like, oh, the views here are unreal. So, first stop was at the vet. Mila and James have just gone inside there. Mila's getting her checks, isn't she? So we're all good to go home, home, home. This kills me. Can you say doggy? Doggy. Doggy. Can you say doggy? Doggy. Doggy. <laughs> it's turned from dagger to goggy. So this is the first part of our journey today. We've got two hours till Avignon. Am I saying that right? Avignon. 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 Probably not. Avignon. Probably not. You guys can let me know how you say it. You always know far more than me. I'm in the lens. And um, James literally always gets an orange Gina. Not always. That's dramatic. That is dramatic. Often you'll get an orange Gina because you love them. Yes. I don't even think I've ever That's tried. a rouge. That's a rouge. What's rouge? I prefer it. I prefer it. It's like um, a blood orange San Pellegrino. Mmm! Mm. I can see why, like, why don't I drink these when you do? I just, like, stick with my Coke, Coke Zero. Zero. Like, like, especially when we're out and about. I think I've told you guys before, but, like, I really struggle with, like, menus, ordering, like, anxiety. Like, it just, I think it's to do with my dyslexia and general anxiety. Like, it just stresses me out, doesn't it? Menus yeah. and stuff. So, like, I'll always I order. order for you. You often so, order for, for me. Not for you, but I tell you, I'm like, yeah. what about this chicken? That looks it always seems so controlling when we're out and about if, like, people don't know me that well. But if it's, like, someone, like, friends or family, they just know. But I'll be like, James, what am I having? I'm like, James, choose for me. Because I don't really, I'm not a fussy eater. Like, I'll literally eat anything. And I find the reading and the choosing of the menu really stressful. Like, certain times I'm fine to do it. Certain times I literally, like, I just can't look at the menu. It's so weird. I forget um, to not to choose for myself. I, yeah, I, you would. You're the opposite. Food. Yeah. Like, I need I'm my decision. My decision. So many people are like that. Whereas I'm like, I, I honestly, like, it's better if you choose. Because let's be honest, I'm just going to get a margarita pizza. So at least if you choose, I'll get something a bit more exciting. Anyway, Although I do this is pretty good. Because you know, <laughs> you know that's what I'd want on the menu. Even though, like, she's older now and it's kind of like a newborn. Cocooned in the old womb, you know? She just, it brings back the memories of being in my tummy. Um, no, it's just like sleep associations, isn't yeah. it? So, like, when we're in the car, we have like our own sleep associations. Get for this. <laughs> Probably actually is. Um, Do you reckon? Copy, copyright, I don't know. No. I doubt it. I doubt it. I'm turning it down in case. <laughs> You are getting sued by womb sounds <laughs> with natural heart. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> um, got a McDonald's. So, so I have a bit of about this, okay? Why? Because before we got on the um, toll road, yeah. I did try to pull into a patisserie. Uh, it's yeah. a Saturday morning and it was absolutely Busy. rammed. Like you couldn't get the car anywhere near anything. <laughs> Pretty sure so in the last two videos we've had McDonald's. Yeah. 
So the last one was a McDonald's. In Galway. Oh. All they had was a McDonald's. So <laughs> was it? Shame. it? Honestly, it was. It was just a McDonald's in the shop. I didn't believe so you. So I was like, I'm just going to get a McDonald's. No bits for the journey. We did just want to really like quick pop in, get it, get out. Yeah. Okay, these are the wedges that we were on about last yeah. time. Oh, we did the McBank cameras. Oh, yeah. I've seen them. But you don't need to see me eating again either. What else have you bought? Oh, you've got some goodies in here. Nuggets, basically. Mm. Just nuggets favorite. and wedges. Mwah. So we're having a snack. We're on our a way. Snack. <laughs> I've got 20 chicken nuggets and two lots of wedges. I don't know if it's a snack. <laughs> Small snack. Okay. Mid morning snack. Like the appetite before lunch. No, but that's actually what I'm doing. <laughs> We just stopped off. They have these like stop off areas. Um, it's on, like it's a service station. Yeah, it's the service station without the, the shops without and the services. without the services. It's just these areas. They've got like loads of picnic tables. You park down there. Got a picnic table up there. Different people on that side. It's gorgeous. <laughs> well, it's because they got the weather for it. It's such a good idea, isn't it? Yeah, in the UK, they'd have to be like rain covers, well, everything. One, like the way to Monmouth, and it's just never used. <laughs> <laughs> but here is such a good idea. So we've just come. We're going to have a little bit of a picnic stop. Well done. You're rehydrating, are you? Good girl. Um, we're going to have a picnic stop and give Amber some lunch because we've had our McDonald's, our snack. So, yeah, we're just going to stretch the legs. Mila's having a little walk around. <gasps> hey, cutie, you've got your bolognese. <laughs> yummy, 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 yum, bolognese. These bibs kill me, they're like literal capes. I know, they are so cute. <laughs> got your full outfit on. Go on to your yogurt pouch now, Amber. <laughs> Go to your yogurt pouch. Look how clever you are. Oh, look at wow. you. Wow. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Also, she uh, grabbed my shirt. She spun the shuffled across the table. <laughs> spun and, uh decided she wanted to grab my t-shirt when her hand was full of bolognese. So lovely, that's all stained and I packed really light for the travels. I'm sorry, we're actually wearing matching colours today. Yeah, we are actually, aren't we? <laughs> to be fair, I've only just noticed. How have I not commented on this already, guys? I feel like it's like slightly camo-y. Yeah, we you look know, like that, safari like, like, people. Oh, I'm, we're, in, we're in a woods. We're in the wilderness, so... so... Hello? got a phone call. How is she's eating? Sorry. Stop distracting her from eating, you child. No, it's a remote. <laughs> <laughs> it's a remote? We always put this little phone. Hello. And sometimes I hold it and she goes, ah? Ah? Hello? Not bring when she's bring. eating carrots. <laughs> bring, bring. Honestly, she's such a bad uh, Hello. <laughs> no phones at the table. Well, yeah, put it away. From the hotel, we are in Avignon. That's how you spell it there. Avignon. Avignon. We think know. we're pronouncing it right. It is absolutely beautiful. It's so gorgeous. On that grass there, there's like a tram track, and there's like a little tram train thing that comes along along the grass. It's so cool. It looks like something from Disneyland or something. But yeah, we're one minute away, so we're looking for the just hotel. For the we've just parked up. This is all the stuff, including the dog, that we're taking for the night. Say bye bye. We're going now. Bye car. So yeah, we've got all our stuff like packed yeah, for the night's day. travels in. I thought we packed so light. <laughs> we've it's like how it's just because of Amber's like, the travel cart, the travel cart and stuff like that. Everything yeah, the from the better. dog beds, you cheeky girl. Yeah. Right off we go. Woo! Let's go. So we all just about fit in the lift together. <sighs> it's tight in here, kids. <laughs> Woo! Up we go to find our room. Look at the stars on the ceiling. <sighs> so nice here. It's Are you excited? Sweet, isn't it? Excited! Oh. Woo! Mila's like, what's a lift? Where are we? <laughs> I feel like we're moving, but I'm not moving. We're flying. <laughs> this is our hotel. Yeah, look at this. What? That's the biggest bathroom ever. Hi, Mila. Insane. We got a little outdoor bit too. <laughs> so cute. A little outdoor bit. A little pool area. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> I think we showed you this last time we were travelling, but whenever we put her on like a big white bed, she just... <laughs> she just does this. She doesn't do it anywhere else in the house. She no! Big 
<laughs> she just dives for it constantly and has so much fun bouncing about. You can't go this way. We're all getting ready to go exploring. Mila looks really ready. I'm ready. It's you look so ready. <laughs> Do you want to take it out now? Because you keep throwing him out the pram. Ah, oh, that's nice. I do want to take him down. Give him a kiss. Really Give him a kiss. Mm. <laughs> that's nice. And a hug. Ah. Oh. <laughs> you ready? We ready. You put on a fresh tea, have you? I have. Lovely. I've on her mucky ball prints all over my. Yeah, that's sleep. a good idea. Clapping! Clap, 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 clap! Yay! I'm almost clapping too! Okay, we're all ready. I'm wondering what this is. Like, I'm loving it. Like, is it meant to look like something? Do you get me? Like, is it a design? Maybe it's some sort of constellation, but to me it's just like random. Yeah. Style. I like it because it's like a bit of fairy lights, isn't it, guys? I love that type of vibe. It's quite nice. It's cute! No, no! Mama! Let's go! Hold on tight. We're just walking and exploring. These are the tram. It is a tram, right? Yeah, it's a tram. Yeah. Tram yeah. tracks that I was on about earlier. And it's so weird. Like you can't see from your car. You can't really see that they're there. And then this random like train tram thing comes. It's literally on the grass. I know. It was so cool. It's quite a nice idea though. I like it. Yeah, me too. And this like amazing built wall just looks gorgeous. We are. The whole um, way down. I, I love a good wall town. A walled town, yeah. Like, I, well, yeah a a walled, walled town. city. A walled city. We love it. Um, and yeah, we're going left here, down into, is it towards like the main area? Towards the main area, hopefully. I've looked up on my map. <laughs> we're not sure. But like, I always get engrossed when we come to new places, staring at my phone. Yes. I try, and then I never like actually enjoy where we are. Yeah. So I'm going to not look at it now. I'm pretty sure it's just straight down here. You're a planner. I'm just going to do it. I'm okay. not, I'm going to be reckless. Oh, these buildings are stunning. Wow, we. No, we're just strolling around the buildings I still just can't get over them like they're so French and beautiful I'm trying not to get too many people in because I always struggle when we're vlogging in like public places and I just don't want to catch people in the back of our vlogs they just wouldn't want to be in them it's hard but yeah it's absolutely gorgeous here I feel like obviously where we've been for a month we saw so much oh my god someone in a wedding dress Aww, just get married that's so sweet that's so cute all got married yeah yeah. Um, or maybe it's just a photo shoot. You honestly don't know these days. You do not know these days. It could be just a photo shoot. Literally, my friend Nyla, who yeah. you guys may have seen on the vlogs, was doing a wedding shoot the other day. She was wearing wedding dresses and looked absolutely gorgeous. And loads of her followers were like, "Oh, congrats! You got married." She was like, "No, yeah. just a photo shoot. Just a photo shoot." Yeah, I feel like where we were on the coast, like we saw so much of like gorgeous Frenchness, yeah. but this is like a whole different vibe, just like city vibes. It kind of feels like London, Bath. It's like a proper like, city, isn't it? Yeah. You know, like, no, even though we went into Nice, this feels more... It's gorgeous. I don't know, there's more going on, that's for sure. Yeah, and we were just saying how like lucky we feel to be able to see all these places and <laughs> I feel so lucky that our job allows us to come to these places and explore. Um, and yeah, it never goes like unnoticed and I would never want it to come across like that. So James has just gone to get some cash out because we come to this gorgeous place where she's painted these watercolors and framed them and we've just been choosing one um, because we bought one when we went to Venice and we love it. It's one of our favorite pieces of art in the house. Couldn't choose between this one and the one that we picked up, which is over there. The lady's just writing on it for me. Um, yeah, look how gorgeous these are. Come to a little restaurant just on the street. Amber's just playing with her toys, putting them in and out the pram. Bless her, she's <laughs> easily amused. Isn't she? she is, yeah. I don't feel like I'd be able to do this for very long. I know. <laughs> James, give it back. Thank you. Can Dada have a vlog? With meals, oh, she's down there. So Dada, thank Dada. you. Wow. Where's he going to put it? <gasps> she doesn't even notice. She's so cute. Hi. She's stashing them away. Thank you. Oh, we could do this all day with her. Anyway, this was the painting that I picked up. I don't know how, how well you can see it. There we go, I think that's better lighting. Um, I love it. It's just like a little street and it says province, which is just like the whole area. And the lady who was doing them all, she was like telling me how they were all original watercolors. Um, Did she paint them? Yeah, all original watercolors done by her, of different areas in France and like, this was like the type of shape of tree that we talked about loads and the stone, <laughs> the stone building. That's what you're going to remember for. The yeah. whole trip you're going to remember by Caris 
with this like hedge <laughs> that is it trimmed or is these, it not trimmed hedge? literally we were discussing about these hedges and i was like they're not trimmed they just grow like that in france and james was like they're definitely trimmed like that and then we've been talking about it the whole time and yeah it's just a really lovely memory to have of our trip here i'm gonna cry <laughs> look at amber reaching Dad, more. She's doing a more sign. She's over the bolognese and yogurt. Hot at the moment. She's already had her dinner. The hot. But she does share ours with us too. Once it's cooled down. Wipe, wipe, wipe. So good. She's in like a stare. <laughs> James is searching for a place to get some dessert, like an ice cream place or like a crepery or something. A crepery? Is that even the name for it? I don't know. Yeah, let's go. I think it. I was saying earlier, but she's trying to wipe the camera. <laughs> Hello. Wipe, wipe, wipe. Very good. I think I was saying earlier, but then I got cut off because um, Amber needed my attention, and she does now as well. Hello, are you trying to wipe the lens? Should we talk this way? Yes, I actually ordered a burger, but they brought this meal instead, and I did a classic caris where I just said, that's fine, lovely, thank you. If it had been, I would have said something like if it had been something, but I'm not, like I said, I'm not very fussy with food, so I was happy to try something new. And honestly, I was so happy to try this, guys. It was like, I don't know, I felt feel like I didn't even see it on the menu, but it was like, adventurous stuff, loads of veggies, nice sauces. So yeah, turned out it was a win-win in the end. Are you wiping still? Where's your wiper gone? Where's your wiper gone? Have you found any you know Sometimes yeah. I hate the fact I look at my views. Why? Because I just get into this hole then, where I'm like, three stars, that's not very good. But it yeah. might be good. If you went on a whim, you might genuinely you might love just, it. Yeah, you're a review. Honestly, James goes off reviews. You know. If there's no reviews, we're not going. Well, like, dropped... you know, I might give it a go if there's no reviews, but if there's bad reviews, I'm struggling. We're definitely not going, yeah. You dropped your wiper on the floor. No, we got some ice creams. A little bit cheers. of ice cream. I feel like we haven't done having on at all. No. Um, but we're the back time's gotten away from us. Like, I know, we've been so life. chilled here, loving life, having food, sitting down, having some ice cream, chilling, walking around, yeah. looking at the paintings. No, the time's just gone. We've yeah, run out of alone. time. Haven't so, done the Pope's Palace. We haven't done any haven't of the good bits. The and done. these, all of these bits were good, but apparently yeah. there's better. Well, no, I'm just saying, I think like the other side of the town yeah. is meant to be No, I know, Pope's Palace. That, that's like the main thing that it's kind of comes I up when so. we search. Yeah, it. it does, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it did come up as like the main kind of beautiful spot and it looked stunning. But yeah, what we've seen has been gorgeous and yeah. we've had a lush time. I know, we thought we'd give Amber a bit of play in the hotel. Yeah. She's been sitting down a lot. On yeah, the she's been like on the go with us all day. So she'll just love kind of exploring the hotel room and then we're going to eat our ice creams on the go. Just got back to the hotel. We're doing a bit of play time in the lobby area before we go up to our room. We got a little play oh, fun, Amber. kids area. Hello, we're trying to get it to the iPad thing on this table, which is quite cool. Actually, it's quite tough to use. What have you got in there? Orange. Wow, and then your frying pan. <gasps> wow. <laughs> oh, I could watch her playing with things all day. Up there, we cook something. Not that we cook things in a colander, but there we go. Frying pan. <laughs> Back in. <laughs> oh, break it. We're back in the hotel room. I've just had a shower. Taking the makeup off, moisturised, got into the hotel dressing gown and slippers. What is it about, like, when somewhere has a dressing gown, makeup off, moisturiser on, dressing gown on, you feel like you're at a spa day. That's all you need. I'm currently in a spa day, relaxing, just from having the dressing gown and slippers on. That's all I needed. Um, so yeah, we're back in the hotel now. James is watching the rugby, half naked on the bed, and Amber's playing with her toys. <laughs> the look James just gave me. Amber's playing with her toys. We've lost all the other parts of that stacker, so if you're always wondering why there's minimal things on the stacker, that's why. I don't know where they went, guys. Honestly. Amber, catch. Wow. To mummy. Oh, thank you. For anyone wondering where Mila was, she is having a snooze. Loving life. She is on the move, guys. You are on the move, aren't you, baby? Good girl. Come on. Been doing some running, haven't you? Oh my goodness! Where's Daddy and Mila gone? Should we turn around? Should we turn around this way? Do, 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 do. James has just taken Mila for um, a little stroll. Wow! We're doing some running, aren't we? Some running and walking. Off we go. Do 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 do. <laughs> Breaks my heart, guys. I can't believe she's growing up so much. Like what? Where's my baby gone? Are you coming? <laughs> What's so funny? Are you coming? 
Are you coming? Wow! Good girl, baby! Good morning, guys. It is now the next day. We have just left literally this second. We are just driving out. Here's where we were yesterday. We have four and a half hours today on our travels. So like a kind of medium length day, I'd say. We sort of started with a little travel day yesterday. Now we got a medium and then tomorrow's a bigger travel day. Um, so but yeah. My map is an auto correcting itself. Oh, that's very frustrating. I have no idea which direction. It's a good start. The map's not working. Oh, there we go. And I'm doing my makeup in the car because it's been a busy morning this morning. We went just for breakfast, rolled out of bed, packed all our rubbish up, went for breakfast, and came straight out on the go. Let's get travelling, people. Off to Dijon today. Yes, we're off to Dijon. Sorry, I'm like half asleep still. Car makeup is done. You could have waited until now. Where's the you window know. gone? Are you closed oh, it? I closed it because I thought Amber was chilling out oh. before a nap. But I can open She's it off again to... if you'd like. We always do it in the night garden just before bed because that's like the calm one. Again, yeah. It's almost like a little mini sleep association Honestly, in the night garden. Sometimes I drive and I'm feeling a bit sleepy and I'm listening in and I'm like, Honestly, I'm he's joking, like, I'm not. I wouldn't time. be that dangerous, guys, but it is very relaxing. <laughs> Safe driving in the night garden, sending you to We've sleep. We've hit our first bit of proper traffic. We have. Um, is Sunday a big travel day in France? I don't know. We travelled on a Sunday on the way down and it was fine. Yeah, we've only gone 15 minutes. Yes. Just done but, my whole um, makeup. It's quite busy. I don't like traffic. No. It's traffic. Sad. Yeah, James gets it's stressed. Like a waste in of time. Well, it is, isn't it? <laughs> it is a waste of I time. Think, yeah. Why didn't we just you leave always try. Time. But you wouldn't think this day would be busy well, I, Sunday. I just don't know. Like I know in the maybe it when is. It's busy. I know when it's school holidays. Like is he it the school holiday? You know, who knows? Exactly. It's a Sunday's always just busy. I don't know, guys. We're just I not prepped. Drive you very much. Everything. He knows everything about the UK. <laughs> when's busy? When's quiet? Practical driving. Well, I would never like, you know, I would know never to drive in a shop in the UK or like <laughs> yeah, the yeah, start yeah, yeah. of a half term. But like we don't chaos. know right now, it could be like, yeah, like you say, exactly. like their half term starting yeah. or something. We don't know. But we're stuck in traffic. We are. We're going to try and have fun. We're listening to Mama Mia. <laughs> so I think in the last clip we were joking about um, the traffic and stuff and we're currently pulled over on the side of the road trying to create some sort of picnic, give Amber a snack because we've been driving for two and a half hours and we're still as far away as we were when we started driving the two and a half hours. Yeah, it's which, been a bit ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah. We started and we were, it said four, four and a half hours to destination and we were going for over two and a half hours and it's now four hours four to hours. destination. <laughs> And so it's been increasing. It's been four hours for the last half an hour. We're feeling a little bit stressed, not gonna lie. Like I do try and find the light and the positivity in most situations, but I, I think with when you've got a baby and a dog, like you do just feel stressed. You're like, you don't, <laughs> we gotta get to the hotel and I don't know how long it's gonna take. And so yeah, we're feeling a little bit stressed right now. Hopefully we'll have some more positive news next time we're back. But <laughs> we're currently just here trying to feed Amber a yogurt. She's hopefully going to go down for a nap and then hopefully the traffic will clear. Wish us luck. We just stopped off at a service station. It went very well in the end. Hello you. Hello you. Sorry, get my hair in your face. Look at the shoes guys. They kill me. They kill me. So they kind of like match your outfit and then the little socks poking out. I know. You're saying hello to Mila. Good girl. We are still two hours away. <laughs> Even though it was only meant to be a four and a half, I think, hour journey, we are still two and a bit hours away, even though we've been traveling for ages. Um, you all right? You're making some squeaks as you stand up. But yeah, we've stopped off at a like, proper service station now. We're just having like a nice break with us all. Mila's just gone and stretched her legs. She's having a nice relax. You're saying hello to everyone, aren't you? Doing your waving. You're saying hello, bonjour. Good girl, good waving. Oh, very good. I'll wait back. Um, and we've just picked up some bits and we've ordered some hot food as well. So I think James has gone inside to collect that now. The food has arrived. I was just vlogging saying that last last um, <laughs> last clip that we so did stressed. wasn't so happy, but it no. got okay in the end. Like it yeah. did clear up the a little bit. The time is going down, guys. It's on the sat nav. It's all good. <laughs> we still got over two hours, but I it's know. fine. I feel like I put too much trust in the sat nav. At one point, we were going through like a country lane, <laughs> and I was like, "See, on the tall road next to me is actually moving." And I I'm know. Like, Why am I on this lane? <laughs> but it's all good. It's all working out. And we mentioned on some food. Mila's chilling down here. She does this thing where she is loving giving us 
food and going, ah, uh, so she knows that we want it. And I don't mind it I don't want when it. it's her half chewed up food. Oh yeah, she oh, makes sure okay. she brews it in there for us and then goes, oh. Or she's just dropping them down there and they're landing on Mila. <laughs> oh, thank you. Mmm. <laughs> uh, back in Dijon, we are one minute away from the hotel. Hotel! Hotel! <laughs> that was me trying to like pump my voice up. We are feeling so tired, aren't we? You yeah. have been a superhero! Oh, no. Honestly, just the flattery counts. I've ordered your medal. Have it's you? in the post. Oh, that, what, to the hotel or back home? Mm, back home because it's so big. <laughs> um, we walked down there last time. We did, that's the hotel. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Last time we came here, it's probably going to be the same as this time. Um, we were like, we'll go out for a meal. Yeah. Then we realised that we had our like travel suitcase, which was just full of like all kind of like lounging clothes. And we came out. Clothes, literally, not basically. one person here wore like sports clothes. It's very it was like clothes. everyone was so fashion, and we literally felt so embarrassed. We were like, and I swear, people were looking at me like. What is that? I know, I can't what is best, that? Joggers. Best outfit. I know. Um, but yeah, this hotel is gorge. We're here. So we've just checked in. We're back in our favourite Dijon hotel. Look, Amber, do you remember the penguin from last time? Look, there's Daddy. Should we see if we can see Daddy? James and Mila are just walking. There he is, into the park by right there. The car's outside, we've just taken, and we're just gonna take Mila for a walk. Obviously, like everywhere we go, we have to make sure Mila can get to a bit of grass and have like a bit of stroll around and stretch her legs. What are you looking at? There's so much to see here, isn't there? You got food on your face. <laughs> yes, overall, it's been stressful slash successful. Penguin. Penguin. But we're here now, um, so we're feeling grateful that we arrived all safely. And James is a hero <laughs> for driving all that way, bless him. I feel like in lifts, they always have really cool textured walls and she just loves looking at the textures on them. Okay, me and Amber are making our way to the room. Amber these, Amber funky corridors. We were on a different floor last time, Amps. So we had different colour. I remember it was like a brownie colour that we're going to paint our bedroom. And now it's this lovely, dark, cosy colour. This is our room, Amps, right at the end. Look at this beautiful view out of where our room is. Oh, that just makes me so happy. I love that. Right, Amps, here we go. This is such a gorgeous hotel. Oh my goodness. Ooh, we got red red vibes this time wow last time we had like a lime green vibes i'm loving all the bold colors they're going for and the views <gasps> i love you guys know how much i just like love housey stuff like windows all that jazz and all this is like just the most gorgeous home design stuff <laughs> <laughs> is that funny <laughs> <laughs> That's her new favorite thing. You're the fun dad. Hi. <laughs> 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 Is Daddy the fun dad? Hi. <laughs> 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 she loves it every time. <laughs> She's like, Mila, what have you seen? Can I come? Can I have a look too? James has just gone down to book um, a reservation at the restaurant. We are just chilling, doors open, enjoying the cool breeze. <laughs> it's a cold bottle and she's finding this so funny. <laughs> we are halfway through dinner. I feel like every time I vlog, James has gone somewhere else. He's got, oh wait, he's still out. He's still out getting the reservation and he also popped to the shop to get some essentials like water and some milk. <laughs> so what about the armpit? What about the armpit? What about under there? So we are having a messy dinner time. We've got like a big sheet down which collects all her messy food and I've just wiped her because she just wants to be strolling about. So I just like did a quick wipe down. <laughs> 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 um, Mila's chilling on the bed over there, just watching out the window. She's loving life, very peaceful. We're having a great time. Just missing Daddy, waiting for him to come back. He's been on his mission. He probably is struggling to find a shop. He just rang me saying that he walked all the way to one shop and it was shut because it's 
a Sunday and they don't open a lot of them don't open on a Sunday or they close early or something but he said um he said he found one I think and that he was on his way back Dada, Dada. where's Dada that was my question the monster is coming to you. <laughs> Look, I just love a onesie, guys. Honestly, it still makes, melts my heart. And every time she puts one on, I'm like, do I, how do I have a baby? How? So this one's off to bed, and me and James are going on a date night. On the clock. I know. I have a feeling that today is going to be a better driving day. Okay. Don't yeah. It could be much worse than yes. It could actually it's be worse than yesterday. Let's hope it's not. Could be worse. We'd be very upset if it was. And um, we're feeling positive. So we've got one more. Well, no, we've got two more driving days. One more like driving in France. Yeah. And then. Wait, today we're staying, we're staying just in before Calais, which we get We're basically the... staying at the Euro Tunnel. Yeah. And then we're nice. getting on the train tomorrow morning and driving. I think it's like three and a half hours then tomorrow. We're so excited to get <sighs> back and see our I'm house. really excited to see our house. But we're also so emotional just leaving this amazing trip that we've had and we just love it here like we just don't want to leave. Dijon is honestly like it's one of our favourite places we've ever been to. Like it's gorgeous. I'd never really heard of it. Obviously I heard of the mustard. Yeah. But yeah. I didn't really know of it as a place and it's no. really beautiful here. I definitely Stunning. recommend like a few days in Dijon yeah. if you're going elsewhere in France or even just come in for like oh. a nice weekend. Yeah. Loved it. Restaurants, there was like a little, yeah. you would have seen on the little clips we did. And but... right now I don't know. You know, we came on a Sunday and it was mm. like a perfect balance between a bit busy, yeah. atmosphere, but then Atmos not packed. <laughs> we love you, Tijon. Really, and beautiful, beautiful. Perfect, just stunning. Peek-a-boo! peek Oh, the sun's coming in! Oh no, should I close it? Do you, uh, peek -a To be fair, it looks like, it always look, really looks like it's like in her eyes, but it doesn't seem yeah. to bother her. Well, it is I feel, oh, oh wow, that zoomed in. It is sun protected. Oh yeah, that'll be why. We've got the protection going. So Amber's just woken up from her nap. We've done about, we've done quite a big stint to start with. We have, woo. we've done a couple of hours. We're getting we've slept through. really well. We slept really um, well. There's been, this is kind of more the toll roads we're used to, very, very yeah. quiet. I think there's woo. very little north of Dijon, like on this road. Yeah. So it's all the way now to Lille and then Calais. Um, but yeah, there's not loads of stops. Oh, there's a stop here in two kilometres. Maybe we should stop should there. Stop. I'm yeah. hungry. Yeah. There's something about <laughs> breakfast that never fills me up. Literally. This I is what we were just... And after two hours, I'm starving. We did eat loads. Yeah. Like, we went for the buffet this morning. We were literally, like, five rounds. Yeah. All of us. Then by 10am, okay. starving. Two lots of fry-ups, pancakes with chocolate, a yoghurt. <laughs> like, I ate a lot and I'm so hungry. <laughs> Shall we just repeat how hungry we are? Yes. Are you hungry? Because I'm hungry. Starving. Hungry. Are you hungry? Are you hungry in the back there? You are being very happy, chappy. And Mila's snoozing away in the back. Should we stop? Yeah. Oh my goodness. James, I'm a bit mad. <laughs> James just ran and got food and came back with this. Well, I thought you'd quite wow. like this, but then I thought if I get you that and you actually fancy something a bit more... <laughs> Substantial. Then you'd hate me. I and know. I thought, well, I thought you'd like, so I don't know. I'm loving both vibes. <laughs> Thank you. I need both, let's be honest. <laughs> Amber's excited as well. She She's already mentioned. She has had some of her Good. pot. Then she saw the chips and said, oh, no more pot. So Just... I'll try the pot after. <laughs> you say more? Do you want some more? More, good girl. She looks like a little sign. Um, wow, I don't even know where to start. I know. And the strawberries. I know. Well, I thought I'm gonna have such a good mix. I know. Well done. I'm gonna put it back on. Still one of my favourite things to do, guys. Dan. <gasps> Dan, that's so good. Are you done? 
Done. Done. Wow. So good. Can mommy have it? You want to take it off again? We could be here forever, guys, doing this. Okay, guys, so we've stopped off at one of these, like, places where you get a bench, that kind of thing. We've had the drama. The oh, drama goodness. going on, guys. We've just killed an hour. So we were at the service station, and then we got back in the car. James obviously table. connects his car, his phone to the car, and like has the sat nav and everything running through his phone. Um, and he used, sometimes puts his stuff on top of the roof of the car. Now he's done this before. I have previous. I <laughs> he's prior. done this before where he's left his stuff on top of the car, and I've been like, James, don't do it again. What did he do this time, guys? Left his phone on top of the car. It was connected because it was on the roof. None of us realised. Connected. And then suddenly the connection, like as we were leaving the service station, oh. <laughs> that was Amber, she's sliding back and forth on here. Um, as we were leaving the service station, it dropped off, as I'm sure you can guess. And anyway, disconnected from the car, we didn't even notice, but I did hear a bang on the roof as we were like in the yeah. service station leaving. Like, what was that? And we were like, what was that? And we were like, that was weird. It sounded like it came from the roof. Anyway, later down the line, we're like, oh, the phone's disconnected from the thing. Then James is like, oh, get my phone and try and reconnect it. I was like, can't find your phone. And he was like, I've left it on the roof. Drama. Then the drama starts. In France, the toll roads, it's not like the UK. You can't like go to every service station, back to every service station, and, like turn around and go no, back no, on no. yourself. To be fair, okay, you what can't is do it? That in the UK at all. Oh, really? No, most services you can't turn around. Oh, oh my gosh, this is news to me. But there's such few junctions. Oh, okay, There's that's like the difference. Miles and miles between yeah. junctions. Right. Ah. So, anyway, we turned round. We went like literally like 40 minutes out of our way, got all the way back to the service station, couldn't find it, not there. We were like, fine, we're gonna have to forget it. Like, this is so sad. Started driving, then I was like, oh, I wish we had find my phone. James was like, oh my God, we do have find my phone. So I went on my phone. <laughs> Story time. I went oh, on my I phone. Went, oh, I wish we had to find my phone. I was like, You're like, I do. We do. I was like, What? I did not know this. So, anyway, we went on that. It literally gave us the exact location that his phone was. We went all the way back. We found the phone, literally using Find My Phone. We had a case to find case on, on the phone, and it's, it's not. The case to find case came has flown off. off. But the phone itself is, it was like, it's fine. It's amazing. It's amazing. During impact, the case just flew off and then that was what protected it. Oh my God, honestly, I can't believe it. So I'm just cleaning the screen because I think Amber's been putting her greasy hands on it. Anyway, so we've just stopped off here at this lovely little- It's really nice actually. It's gorgeous. And the toilets were really nice. The toilets were lush with you. They were really like modern, new technology. As you can tell, Amber's getting a bit tired because we've elongated the drive probably like an hour or more. Um, we've still got two and a quarter hours. It's half four. Amber's gonna go down for another nap, which will actually work quite nicely in the end because she'll be up a bit later. First she's off to walk. Are you walking Mila? On, Are you walking the dog? Wrong way. <laughs> you do strong meals. So we are feeling disheveled and tired, but we are, Amber wants to get down and just toddle around everywhere. Um, we've just stopped off for our last service stop. Amber just woke up from another mammoth nap, which was great. Um, and we've just, Let's stop here for a little bit, re-gather ourselves, have some food, and then we've got one last hour. <laughs> My words aren't even making sense. Um, until we get to the hotel in Calais. Woo! So we're on a little bench on the side of the road. James has gone in to the toilet. We've just swapped over, done our little stints. Mila is doing her patient little wait whilst looking towards the door. I've shown you so many times, guys, but she will literally stare at the door till James comes back. It's the cutest thing. And yeah, we're just having a little snack. And then when we get to the hotel, we're all gonna go out for food together, which will be really nice. I feel like this camera lens is still so smudged. Are you all right, baby? Do you want to say hello? Do you want me to have some? Uh, <laughs> mm, thank you. Mm, that was so nice. And you're so kind sharing it with me. Thank you. Mm, thank you. Oh, mm, uh, mm, mm. What are you doing? Still leaving I'm stuff. Just filling up water bottles. I, I'm going to drive off in a second. That's going to fly off the back. No, you're doing a driving stint. So the only reason you're vlogging is to show off that you're driving. <laughs> Guys, I'm driving. Um, so I'm driving us all the whole way home. Yeah, I'm a hero, basically. Look, I'm in the driving seat. I'm doing half an hour. I was like, James, look, let me drive. No, I'm joking. He did ask me, actually. Um, 20 minutes. <laughs> That's how much I'm doing. Got a laugh. I've just put my shoes in his passenger seat just to make his passenger journey even more comfortable. Are you ready yeah. for all the drama that's about to commence? Oh, no. You've already driven out here. I have already driven. Amazing. I've already driven out here. I yeah. just like to dramatise it. And it was actually all right. 
but wish me luck. Karis is doing a drive-in. She's been going for about just under an hour and she's um, desperate for me to uh, vlog her. No, I thought you were going to say take over. It's not take over. I, um... So we're actually only now a quarter of an hour from our hotel for the night, which is literally like on the Euro tunnel so that we're catching the train first thing tomorrow morning. Um, so yeah, I am gonna try to swap with Karis to do like the last bit because Karis can't park. Uh, no, I'm joking. Or like, like obviously like motorway driving is fine, but like things like roundabouts, like all like city, more city-ish driving is you harder. You have done all of that to me. No, fair. I have, I have. I did it like around the villa area and it wasn't too bad, but I just feel like parking is the main one as well. I'm only messing. Karis would easily be able to do it. But um, I am happy to take over. Oh, there's a service here in a kilometre. Oh, really? Perfect. Happy days. We can swap over. And I miss driving already. I, I, am, know. I am a keen driver. As You're soon as I sit in the passenger seat, I'm like, I'd rather drive. He complains literally the whole time. He's like, this is not empty. This I'm isn't. Like, this this, isn't this car empty. isn't aligned for the for the passenger. I know. It's like a cockpit star car and everything's facing the driver. I'm like, why is it all on an angle towards you? How rude. You, you guys know James loves cars. <laughs> so I wouldn't even notice things like that. Stay in this lane because we'll be off soon. Oh, yeah. Thanks. And. Oh, it's closed. And, um, that's it, you're driving the whole way. I've got to park. Sorry, Kaz. Keep going, girl. Just leave me. We're here. We're parked. Kaz parked all herself. <laughs> I'm actually job. making myself laugh. I don't know why. Because you think you're, you're a professional driver now. Oh! Yeah. We're at our holiday in for the night. Let's get in. Let's get sorted. Right, it's guys. To eight. We I've really do need from, to. From okay. the front. Sorry, I love how you're just having a joke and I'm like the serious one. Like, come on now. We need to go. Okay. This is literally sums up our relationship. I'm just constantly like being an idiot. And James never has like, shoes on. <laughs> I know it's good for her development. Okay. But I'm mine. <laughs> there we go, Amber. That's your best for the night. This way to our bed. You in? Go, Amber. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, come here, you. <laughs> Let's go. Woohoo! James is feeding Mila straight away. We're just kind of cracking on, like. Um, organising ourselves and, and we're just... back to the car to get her food. Oh. Yes, I will be back. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Good girl, Mila. Daddy's coming back now, okay? Daddy's coming back with your food now. Yeah, good girl. So yeah, this room is massive. This is perfect for all our stuff. This is a holiday inn and it's like we said, really close to... Um, Amber will just go back and forth. But yeah, it's just really close to the Eurotunnel. Oh, look at this. Green view we've got. Oh my gosh, they've got a swimming pool. Woo! Loving it. Wow, Ams. Should we get ready to go for some food? Shall we? Come on then. So yeah, we're just all gonna get ready now and head out for some food. And then all together to bed. Get me to bed. I feel exhausted, we both do. But I really enjoyed that last stint of driving. It was really, really good, really good. And it was really nice for James to have a break because honestly, after an hour, I am literally like zonked and he, drives for hours like obviously he just does all the drive-in so yeah he is a hero he knows that though you've gone back and forth still oh wow hello baby you loving it here aren't you there's so many spaces to whoa mila oh mila daddy's coming soon you're very excited aren't you for your food she is hello hello there missy can you let me in she's banging on the window she loves sitting in the passenger seat while I set up. Look, I'm doing a James, guys. I'm leaving stuff on top of the car. Hi! <laughs> I've just been setting up her little station. Hello. Hello, good morning. James is just checking out. He's with Mila. We're just packing up the car. We're setting off early this morning. We've got our... That is definitely like a permanent smudge on the screen. I hope that that's not actually a smudge across the screen. I'll have to see when I watch this back. Yeah, we're getting early up and out. My words aren't going to come out. <laughs> right this morning guys um we're catching the euro tunnel i can't believe we're going to be going home today we're getting home we're arriving home today there he is good morning <laughs> back to the united of the kingdom so we are just waiting to do our last yeah. passport check we've left france now we've gone through french border control done all our forms done all the bit where last time james well, went excuse me it's just no need to bring that back up again, okay? It's a traumatic experience. I literally want to cry every time I say it. Like, it really tickles me. Excuse me! Excuse me! No, honestly. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm going to be two minutes late. 
You want to miss my Help me! She's oh, we're through. That. That's a we're through. <laughs> She's coming. Oh my God, stop it, James. I did actually say that a bit loud. Yeah, so we've got one more check, then we're on the Eurotunnel, then we're 35 minutes through to the UK, and then we're going to be home oh, today. I'm then so how long's the drive? I think about three and a half hours. Okay. Yeah. Not bad compared to some no, of the days we've done not <laughs> with like, all our delays. No, definitely. And it's going to be UK. It's nice now. We're yeah. back on the left hand side. We know what we're doing. You know, it's exciting because we're in a new country. <laughs> <laughs> we love a change. Wait, do you feel nervous to drive on the no. left? Do you not? No. I feel like even for me, it's going to look weird because we've been doing it for so long now. Are you going to scream at me if going around about the Yeah. Way? I've like, oh, 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 we're in the UK again. Oh, we're in the oh, UK. <laughs> we're just waiting to board the Eurotunnel. James just grabbed some coffees from a little coffee machine. James always takes me out any chance he's got for a little stroll. Well, nice to get some fresh air, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's nice for her to stretch her legs like any opportunity. Um, me and Ams have been chilling and James picked me up some of these. Oh. Just a Don't you know me? <laughs> he knows me well. <laughs> Chocolate any occasion, guys, is the way to please me. Hello. Sorry, guys, I was late to the party, turning on the camera to show you getting onto the train. <laughs> but I showed it last time, so hopefully you remember. It just looks like a really ugly train <laughs> that yeah. you drive into. Actually, yeah. But you know, if they made trains in the UK like this, yeah. we might actually have more space. <laughs> yeah. Rather well, than just crammed down aisles. Fair. This is quite massive. Yeah. We can all just bring our own um, deck chairs. It's very efficiently and done. Just sit on the train. And you literally drive on and then you can just park and yeah. get out and do whatever you want. Yeah. Well, Look through not, the little windows. For reason, not whatever you want because there's nothing not, actually to do. There's nothing to do. <laughs> you can scroll on your phone. Yeah. Read you a can Kindle. read a Kindle. Feel you can fashioned. look after the dog and baby. Yeah, that's what we'll be doing. And look after the dog and baby and we'll Feel free, indoors. any help would be much appreciated. <laughs> so, we're on the journey. We got Mila's bed, which is making her feel a lot more comfortable. On the way here, she was a little bit... It's just a bit of a, a weird experience, isn't it? Yeah. It's understandable. So Amber just wants to move and walk. She wants to walk back, but I feel like it's a bit wobbly. Please, Daddy, let me walk around. It's all the noises and everything, but it's so cool. I can't really see anything. Nope, just me. So we are now stopped at services. Um, on the way home. I am, um, look, the lighting's terrible already. I am um, um, just giving Mila a little stroll. Karis is actually in the service station giving Amber um, a bit of food. It's basically lunchtime. So they're having a bit of food. Um, you know what, typical British problems now already. Even when we were kind of up by Calais, quite far up north in France, it was still warm enough to sit outside and eat. But um, it's definitely not warm enough here for Amber to kind of sit out and eat. So I'm having to stay outside with Mila because she's not allowed in. Um, and Karis is in there giving Amber a bit of food and then we'll probably just get like a bit of something to eat in the car then um, it, it's only about an hour now to our house so um, not too bad at all but yeah the journey's gone really well and uh, really looking forward to getting home seeing the house lots of changes have been made since we've been away um, to the garden people have been there kind of doing work so that's super exciting and uh, yeah looking forward to getting home but you know missing the weather already definitely and we wait Wait. I'll come through the door sometime, Mila, I promise. <laughs> no, so James has gone inside now to pick up um, our food. Me and Ams are chilling in the car. She has literally, can you see the corner? I don't know if you can see, but the corner of her eye, she had her first proper fall when she was toddling around, walking around earlier, got a bit excited running towards me, fell. Um, literally this far away from me as well. So like, I feel like it's playing on my mind so much. Like. I should have caught her quicker or like I should have done this I should have done that and everyone keeps saying to us like because she's had like a tiny little bruise before where she fell and hit her cheek when she was like learning to stand and everyone keeps saying it's gonna get so much worse you know they're gonna have so many falls and I know that's the case but you just can't help but be like she's like full of guilt I just feel so guilty she's not even bothered she's, <laughs> she's just got like a massive like bruise coming up on the corner of her eye She's not even bothered. She didn't even cry for that long. It might be one of those things that just looks so much worse than it is, but I just, I've got so much anxiety and guilt within me right now. And I know you guys are gonna probably just say that it's gonna happen so much more because they're just gonna be adventurous, aren't they? They've got to learn to do all these things and you have to let your children out into the wild, but it, may, it breaks my heart. So you know, with a little, bru a big bruise on her eye. Anyway, so we're getting going. We're nearly home. We're so excited. 
Welcome to Wales. No, nope, it's still in England. Oh dear. No, I think it's still in England. So goodness knows what it's going to be like in Wales, guys. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is bad. We're back in the UK. We've got an hour left. We're so excited. I just went up to an hour five. I'm an hour four. That is not good. <laughs> oh, I can't open the door because it's so windy. Straight in her playroom, honestly. She's got a change as well, is she? Yeah, into a cosy dungarees. <laughs> for the oh my goodness, it's so, <laughs> it's so windy, we're not used to it, the doors are oh, slamming. Yeah, we've made a couple of cups Hi, of tea. Hi, Oh my gosh, we haven't had a proper cup of tea it's not in really a month. It's just that the milk tastes slightly different and stuff like that. It always <laughs> tastes, you know. Da -da! It always tastes it's so different to me, like I can't, I, like, only tea in the UK tastes yeah. like proper tea to no, me. No, everyone thinks the same, right? They it's do. They do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go on then. You take it to make a cuppa. Tea's I'll just... it's ready to go. Oh, I'm coming. I know. I'm coming for my cuppa. Come on, guys. We actually have um, a couple of people doing some work in the garden. <gasps> so exciting. Just made them a cup of tea. Can't yes. wait to show you in the next vlog what's been happening. I know, honestly, guys. The garden reveal. I'm not even going to go down that way I'm because... I'm already back to struggling. <laughs> Oh, baby girl, like, darling. What is this new invention, guys? <laughs> this, honestly, Mila gets stuck behind it all the time, bless her. And she's so cute, she doesn't She just walk. waits. She just <laughs> meals. And then she's so happy when we let her out. We're like, no, just give us a little woof. Yeah, I'm like, I'm okay, you can have a little woof. You Tell us we're there. We won't, like, no, hear her. And then suddenly no. you're like a... <laughs> Hello. Hello, Mila. And then you are, you're stuck. Anyway, we're so happy to have the playroom back. We, like, I don't know why. There's all our packages on the sofa. Oh, Everything. Are here. Oh, they're here. My yeah. parents have come over. They're here. So we're gonna love you and leave you guys. My parents have just gone down the end of the drive to get my grandma who's coming. Everyone's coming, they've missed us. <laughs> we saw James's parents in, obviously. We did, and we'll see them tomorrow. We are. <laughs> Anyway, we'll love you and leave you guys. Thank you so much for watching and following our France I journey. Know, I'm gutted it's over. I've absolutely loved every single I'm emotional that we've left. I'm yeah. emotional that we're here. I'm emotional that. I'm just loving life. <laughs> She's so happy, guys. Yeah, and Mila's just, Mila's just out in the garden, yeah. literally loving the grass life. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. We love you guys so much, and we'll see you very soon in the next vlog. Thanks, guys. Have a good Bye, one. Bye, guys. Mwah.